update for you. Since they've been sharing notes. One of the deputies actually pulled over a truck just outside the reserve. The truck was hauling a short chunk of rail track and two big heavy railway sleepers. Turns out the driver runs some kind of historical museum out in Arizona. He claims someone called Mr. Green reached out to him and offered him a chance to take home some historic railroad. The driver was confused, but was keen to grab a piece of gold rush history, so he drove out to retrieve a piece yesterday. He said that he and his son had to cut it out with a saw or lift it with a crane. He had receipts for the whole plant rental and everything. Obviously, we had nothing to do with this exchange. So the question becomes, who on earth is Mr. Green? I'm gonna ask me about it. But the guy was adamant that it had all been signed off by this Mr. Green. They just tried calling his number, and it's not recognized. They're gonna get in touch with the truck driver and get back to me. Look at these water spots. <clears throat> So we're doing these, oh, and there's five of them here. So let's go up here and uh, examine this, uh, this saw bones. This would be the new mission. Oh yeah, I turned it off. So when you see it, the... Saw bones. I heard a bear grunt. Holler warning. So this is an excavation site. Dig site. Okay, so at least the site itself hasn't been touched. What about the tool shed? They left an inventory, but there wasn't much in there. Just some digging tools and a rock saw. Oh. I knew it. Of course they've been here as well. They've taken something. The rock saw is missing. I looked them up and they're like $500 brand new. This one was used and old. I doubt it's worth much. It was pretty heavy too. Have a look around. I wonder if they drove up here to get it. Gotcha. Okay. So they're in a car or truck and they've been here recently. I've got a plan, but we're gonna need to act fast. Grab a photo of those tracks and send it to me. I'm gonna round up some of my friends. Stay on the line. Hard to get, ain't it? Lock it down. Is the next one. Okay, so we're going to lock down the barricades for all of our roads. Nothing gets in or out. I've rounded up a few people to help, but I've got a gate I need you to lock up. First thing you'll need to do is grab a padlock. I keep one in the closest lookout tower to the gate. Once you're inside, look for a locker. That kind of helps. one thing I need to do before I noisy birds hope everybody's doing good this is the hunter call of wild silver in peace I, I guess I forgot to do the introduction this is part five of the story missions as you, can, as you can obviously tell from the header down below. You've got the padlock? Okay. Your GPS will show you where to find the 
find the right gate. We're almost there. The other roads are all locked down. Just your gate left to close. One of my friends says he arrived at his gate just as a truck was leaving. He recorded the license plate, though. The deputy's gonna take a look. We'll do probably one more. I've kind of already done them, so I kind of know what's going to happen, so that's why I have tents set up and everything. And, uh, you know, to make the stream shorter from all the driving around. I love the storyline, really. I just don't like the loud birds. There's the gate. That's the gate. Close it and lock it shut. It's already closed. It just needs locked. Great work. If the criminals are still inside the reserve, they're gonna need to go off road to escape. Right. I feel better. The police are working with us now, and we have taken steps to get things back on track. The deputies share my suspicions about this being the work of animal rights activists. Sure, we get the odd email from time to time. A few years ago, my dad narrowly avoided having red paint thrown all over him by someone who had come looking for trouble. There's a group called the Activists for the Protection of Animal Rights, APAR. They've sent us some letters in the past. Thing is, it's been all calm on that front recently. And if you want to target, why us? We're not high profile. <laughs> Until recently, that was my biggest problem. Plus, the sounds on that tape will be with me for a while. I don't think the person who recorded them is likely to be sensitive to animal rights. One thing I do know is that this lockdown is going to hurt us. People will talk. And I know that there are people on the board who are already considering replacing me. Lock it down is uh, done. Now this third one, here's the last one we're going to do. Inner peace, outer chaos. I do have better news though. One of the accounts got back to me about this meditation outcome that Baden was going to climb. She's ambitious. I'll give her that. She set her sights on one of our taller mountains, Mount Ursula. The police are in charge, so we have to take the back seat for a while. In the meantime, I'd like you to have another shot at finding Martin. She must be in a pretty rough state by now. Alright. We gotta go clean over there, but... Look at this. <laughs> That's pretty close. So, once we get up here, it'll start. Inner peace, outer chaos. So, we're going to find out what happened to Baden. I chance to speak to my dad about all this. He told me that while he always has my back, he plans to retire permanently from the ward position. He doesn't know what he's going to do next, but he feels that his health problems stop him from doing the job properly. If I'm being honest, I always counted on him coming back. I told him that I felt like I was just keeping his seat warm. I think we both knew that his recovery was going too slowly. So there's to be a chin here. Thing. He seems confident that we've got this situation covered. More confident than I am, actually. We just need to keep pushing on. Let's find Baden and bring her home safely. And that bird's annoying.
So there's her foot tracks. It would have led to it, but there she goes off. I already know what's going to happen, but I, I, I'm going to leave it for a surprise. So she's going up through here. Where she was. That's a bear. It started over. Uh oh. I can't believe it. We followed. We were so close. She's bear bait. I need to tell the police. Unfortunately. with her, blank with her as trophy earned. Before I start making arrangements, there's something I'd like you to do for me, if you think you're up to it. In her journal, Baden mentions winning the trip out here. In all this drama, I forgot that she wasn't just here with the retreat. She was planning on staying a little longer at one of our outposts. There was something strange about the bookie. I'm going to make some calls now. And we'll do that next. We'll do that next time. We're not going to do that in this time. We're not going to do setting up. But I thank you for watching. That's three of them we done. Sawbones, locking down, inner peace, outer chaos. So that's number five. So one more, and we'll have them all done. I think one more will complete it. Hey. Uh, Thanks for watching. Uh, the game's got a lot of good stuff going with it. They've done pretty good by getting this out. Yeah, it was a month late, and then things happen. I'm not going to get all scorched by it and lose my mind because, you know, people get so ag aggravated by things. But the only thing I don't like is them loud birds. Dang, they drive me crazy. They're loud, too loud. So, that's the only thing I'm annoyed with, the loud bird singing. They could take that loud bird singing right there out of the game far as I'm concerned. The ones distantly don't bother me, but it's that loud chirping one. It's the pain in the neck. But I like the storyline. It's a shame there ain't no side missions with the Remy shoot a turkey with an arrow, hunt a turkey, or hunt, do some certain things with Remy. It's a shame they didn't add none of the side missions with Remy Warren. And uh, it's a shame that uh, they maybe could have brought in some other hunters in there. Maybe like, of course, Jim Shockey and would want too much money. Maybe, maybe just even Al Linder or someone from In Fisherman like to check one of the lakes out and test one of the lakes for contaminants because he wants to do a little walleye fishing or something i mean that'd be cool they could enter enter that you know or uh activate some uh hatchery uh go and uh, pull a thing and let the hatchery stock the hatchery you know with fingerling walleye or sauger or you know muskies or whatever i mean that'd be cool you just sit sit there and pull board up and let the fish flow in that'd be really cool uh, what else could you do? Oh, there's all kinds of things. There's like, uh, build bridges like they did over there and that other. You could, they could find places where they need to build some bridges. Or maybe even tidy up a lookout tower or something. Maybe a bear broke into a cabin. You could repair that. 
you can make part of that and you could do some trappers uh, some poaching trappers don't always make it trapper trappers not all trappers uh, I think it's slippery slope when you go putting on like trappers are always bad guys I think that's not a very good you could put some eagle eagle poaching like you find where they shoot some deer or bison you find a shell casing where they shot the bison and you find bison where they cut the head off or the antlers off a mule deer or something even find a wounded bear or wounded bison you know <clears throat> set up turkey blinds and stuff or other hunter turkey uh, stuff kind of like that rock mountain climbing stuff over there set up blinds and turkey decoys for turkey hunters and regions you know that'd be cool there's all kinds of mission story side missions they could do it's a shame they ain't got me on there to help them I know a lot about trapping and hunting I've done a lot of it all my 40 50 years 40 years of hunting and trapping fishing I could uh, really uh, give them some good ideas, but maybe they don't care what I got to say. So maybe they'll watch us and see see this and get some ideas. So I'm always I'm always open to help them out if they would like some good ideas. I'd even voice for them. Say now you need to go down there and check that. Out. <laughs> That'd be funny. Nah, they can get someone else to do that if they want. I don't, I'm not worried about that. And I'd do it for free. But this is a good game. Good game. I like what they did. The game seems to be running pretty good. Uh, everything seems to be running good, at least on PS4. I don't know about PC and Xbox. <clears throat> like I say, the only thing I've seen there, there is the loud birds. That's the only thing I've seen. But that's pretty short there because I had all the tents set up. It kind of made it set up better, didn't it? So, we've, we've gotten through quite a few missions. There's not that many left. You know, so setting up will be the next mission, part six. So, maybe we'll do that here in a few. You know, maybe finish them up today. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. This is part five of Silver Ridge Peaks. Part six will probably end it. I uh, hope everybody stays safe and like, subscribe, comment, whisper, whatever. Dislike, whatever. Comment. Thank you very kindly. Have a, be, have a good one. Be safe.